Dragon Flies, welcome back to another video, and I hope everyone's having an amazing day. If you are new, welcome to my channel. My name is Jai. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe all the great stuff. We are back with Casual Geographic, aka Hood Nature. And this is why this animal is in there. It's a war criminal. Looks like a badger, I think. I think that's what it's called, a badger. So let's watch. Get your popcorn and your snacks. Out of all the animals I've talked about on here, what could possibly be such a menace that it not only gets its own video, but a kind of but not really clickbait title? Unless, of course, I ruin the suspense by putting the animal as a thumbnail, in which case, this intro's pretty much pointless. Anyway, this is a video about an animal I personally believe not nearly enough people acknowledge. And just for the record, this is not a honey badger video. Oh. But it kind of is. So imagine we took honey badgers, right? Gave them swimming lessons, injected them with growth hormones, and just to see the world in flames, taught them how to operate as a fully functional gang. Basically, imagine roided up, breaststroking felony weasels with mob mentality and homicidal tendencies. But you don't have to imagine, because that animal actually exists. If you haven't guessed it by now, I just gave you a description of the South American giant river otter. And I was not kidding about them being honey badgers on steroids. Because first of all, the largest ones can reach six feet in length. I'm only six feet when I'm lying. And on Tinder. But like all criminals, to really understand why this demon water weasel is the way it is, you have to look at its family. First belong to Team Mustilidae, a family reunion that includes some of the most disrespectful things on four legs. Go to a Mustilid cookout and in attendance, you'll find an animal that once put a whole polar bear out of commission, one that reportedly attacks much larger animals by biting and robbing the family jewels, nope. and this little guy. I don't know, man, he seems kind of cute. They murk animals ten times their size by chasing oh. them into exhaustion and taking them off the census with a devastating oh. bite to the back oh. of the skull. I want you to remember that fact, it's oh. going to be important later. I'm not going to bore you with the whole biology lesson, but the muscle of the family, you know, wolverines, otters, badgers, and stoats, are all part of the carnivore suborder called Caniforma. And Caniforma are basically just dog-like carnivores. Some members you might actually recognize there's candies like domestic dogs, wolves, coyotes, and the fox. But some decided to take their talents to the water, resulting in a pinniped group which includes seals, and lions, and walruses. <laughs> Since there are no drug tests in the wild, some start um... juicing, which is why bears are the largest terrestrial predators on the planet and the most brawling members of the Caniforma suborder. But mustelids don't have the strength of bears or the intelligence of wolves and dogs, so they had to overcompensate by being nature's version of short person syndrome. Which is why honey badgers will g-check a pride of lions right in their own hood. Uh oh. Same reason why wolverines will pick fights with animals in a they much higher weight class and still somehow not feel like the underdog. Which finally brings us to this thing. There are several flavors of otters found all over the world, but they all share one very important thing in common. They can swim, they're very good at it, and best believe they make it everyone's problem. Otters have a streamlined body, most have webbed feet, and both river and sea otters can hold their breath underwater for about 8 minutes. Otters also have a protective layer of guard hairs to help keep the inner fur dry. That and the fact that they have some of the densest fur on the planet is why they can spend all that time underwater without getting clapped by hypothermia like we would. It's also the reason otters, especially sea otters who rely on their insulating fur to survival, spend hours grooming and washing themselves. But if swimming was the only thing that made these overgrown river weasels special, this wouldn't be a video. Nah, giant river otters are 100% affiliated. Unlike basically the rest of its muscle and family, giant river otters are social and can roll up to 20. We're talking about 20 <laughs> vicious furry gangbangers that each can be the length of a grown man. And out of all the otters, it's the ones found in the Amazon that are by far the most on site. Using their numbers and teamwork, these waterproof wolverines will jump anything that ends up in their territory uh -oh. without a permission slip. And yes, that includes humans. Straight up staff, Jesus. not impossible to see reports of river otters assaulting people for the simple crime of existing in the same lake or river as them. One woman was kayaking down a river in western Florida when she saw a river otter that she thought was cute. After it lunged and mauled her face, it became a lot less cute. Serious otter attacks on humans might be rare, but it seems like at least once a year someone gets put on a headline after getting severely vibe tested by one. The most aggressive and homicidal of them all are the giant river otters of the Amazon, but granted, it's for a pretty good reason. Giant river otter have to share an area code with top predators like the jaguar, the black caiman, and the anaconda. When your neighborhood looks like anaconda. that, you're only real option for war. Violence may not be the answer, but life is multiple choice. And they'll use gang violence to intimidate much larger animals that would probably one-shot them if they were alone. If a jaguar can catch a river otter on its own, it's a GG. But with the numbers advantage, uh -oh. otter mafia can uh -oh. effectively drive uh -oh. off even Turn the out. most motivated uh -oh. jaguar. This is especially true in the water, where they basically have a home court advantage because in the water, river otters are much quicker and more agile than the bulky big cat. Which is why an apex predator that literally claps caiman can end up getting humbled and straight up humiliated by a hood of otters. Wow. 
speaking of the Cayman, probably All it takes is the Jaguars to snatch one up real quick. Because not only will a gang of otters jump a Cayman and attack it from all sides, they often won't hesitate to eat the Cayman alive once it stops struggling. Remember how I said the stoke can take down prey ten times its size by exhausting it and biting the back of its head? Damn. That is exactly how giant otters can make a Cayman's entire existence a living prostate exam. As a cold-blooded reptile, Cayman run out of energy quickly. It's the reason crocodiles and alligators are ambush hunters, since they don't have the speed or endurance to run their prey down. So by mauling the Cayman from all angles, it doesn't take long for the reptile to stop working. It's called in a reptile dysfunction. Once the Cayman finally gives up, the otters will put it out of its misery with a finishing blow to the Cayman's weak point. In the back of its head. All of this while sounding like Rugrats if the show took place in hell. Once the Cayman becomes past tense, the otters will use razor sharp jaws to tear the reptile apart and eat it. Their cousins will all breathe for a reason. Now, if you feel bad for the Cayman, giant otters will usually do this to defend their pups, since the Cayman will snatch up any unaccompanied miners if they get the chance. But of course, being black air forces with fur, sometimes will harass the Cayman just for wandering into the wrong side of the river wearing the wrong colors. The giant river otter is a lot of things, but they're not prejudiced, which is why the Cayman isn't the only body that these psycho weasels will take. You know those snakes that we call anacondas? Giant otters will turn a small ones into a leather handbag. You know those fish that are kind of famous for being able to undress a whole wow. ass cow down to the bone in minutes? Yeah, about that, these prison ferrets turn a piranha fillet. Turtles, you'd think they'd be safe, right? You'd think having a shell would protect them from the audacity of this satanic hell spot. Of course not. Nobody gets a pass. Damn. No, this isn't technically a giant river otter, but goddamn. And of course, you can take an otter out the hood, but <laughs> you, you can't really thoughts of homicide coursing through its little otter veins. Really cute fun fact, once at the Bronx Zoo, a monkey messed around and ended up in the living room of a family of Asian small clawed otters. The otters proceeded to surround the panicking monkey and drown it, all while both the other monkeys and the people at the zoo watched oh. both shock and horror. Uh -oh. At a zoo in the UK, gang of otters attacked, deleted, and ate a tamarind that fell into their pond. Older lion tamarinds mm, are endangered. Damn. When you're talking about a group of animals that are related to a sociopath that literally went viral for giving less <laughs> than Miralax, there are no exceptions. Otters believe in equality, meaning anyone can equally get the smoke. For those cute little comments that think I'm being overly dramatic about how morally bankrupt otters in general are, I'm not going to explain this picture, I'm just going to let the comments do it for me. And I think it goes without saying, but if they can step to literal murder with whiskers, or a slightly nerfed crocodile, they have no problem attempting to send a human back to their family in a box. And honestly, just the crime of being alive and breathing in their territory is all you need to trigger a furry temperature. <laughs> Absolutely no books to give. Those are the eyes of an animal that is not afraid to go back to hell. They you don't. ought to be careful if you are. I'm so sorry. For those of you that want to disregard this entire video because you think they're cute, that's cool. No, seriously, I completely understand. I said the same thing about Ted Bundy. And just like this came in this video has come to an end. I write, record, and edit these videos all by myself. I'm not complaining. I could be doing way worse with my time. But if you'd like to support this content and my channel, my Patreon's going to be in the description. Becoming a patron gives you access to videos before I post them, and even exclusive content that you won't see on TikTok or YouTube. And yes, we're still talking animal videos, you little perverts. But as always, please don't feel like you need to spend money to support me, because honestly, I'm doing all right for myself. Definitely don't finesse your no, credit card to send money to a person you've never heard of. The reason I say that is because it's actually happening. Some kid sent me over $100 of money I'm pretty sure wasn't his. And I'd rather go skinny oh. dipping in a pool of otters than be in the room with his mom when she found out. So yeah, definitely don't feel like you're obligated to give anything unless you absolutely can afford it. Subscribing costs you nothing though, so make sure you do that or else I'll harvest your organs and use them to pay off my student loans. Just one kidney is worth $262,000. Do not test what capitalism has done to my sense of morality. Alternatively, subscribe or this is going to be the last thing you hear at night. <laughs> so these real otters are just straight up savages. Mm. Glad I'm not going near where any of these river. I say a river, not sea otters. Cause sea otters, they're cute. They're kind of neat. I like to look at the face. But the river otters, no. They're like freaking piranhas, hyenas. Anybody who comes within six feet, they're done. They're done. Dizzle. 
straight up bullies. <clears throat> so that was casual tree graphic. Why this animal is at war criminal? The Devil 3, the River Sea Otters. Tell me guys what you think. Like, comment, and subscribe. Stay blessed, stay awesome. Thank you for nature, for your knowledge. And until next time you guys, stay blissful. Stay blessed, stay grateful, and stay positive. Cause at the end of the day, it's your life. Do what you want, do it positively and abundantly. Peace.